the format of being robot. I found something on my old hard drive. An Alpha Minecraft build. Although the build I found was different out of all other Alpha Minecraft builds I have played. The version was called, Minecraft Alpha 1.0.0 underscore 66. That was a version that does not have any record on the Minecraft wiki. I downloaded it, put into a vault EMC, and run the game. It was actually Alpha 1.0.4. I was picking wood, and I made a crafting table. I decided to mine in my own cave, when all of a sudden, something really weird happened. I decided to go into a mountain that contained a cloud. The fog was starting to come strongly, until I saw a shadow player in the distance. Luckily I was able to make a screenshot of it. The shadow player somehow corrupted the game, and said one thing. Artificial. After that, the game crashed. I restarted it and went to my world again. Although I found a message behind me, saying the words. It's burning your home. I found burning trees, until it activated the last level of the fog. Burning trees caused by lava. Something is off here. I later found water, then another message appeared. Find the rose. I was looking for a rose, but I wasn't able to find it with this fog. After a while, I found it, got it, and I was now lost in the forest. I couldn't find the water, but some seconds later I found it. I went back to the game, and I dropped the rose to the water. But when I went into the water, the game started to glitch, the rose was floating, and the shadowy figure from before appears again. The game crashes itself again with a crash message. Unable to connect to main servers. I went back to Discord, describing my adventure. A user said about connecting to the main servers, maybe thinking that the server of the version is still running, until today. The server was shut down. I closed the window of Discord. I asked Notch in Twitter, and he replied. Alpha 1.0.0 underscore 66. That doesn't exist. I never created a version like this, unless it's a mod or version that I don't remember. Even that I still no longer own or develop Minecraft, somebody snuck into my PC and programmed an unknown version. Although there are some channels with videos of unknown versions, I would never program a version as well. As I stopped and retired of making games, Microsoft is doing their best, but they did not invite me for the 10th anniversary of Minecraft. I'm Marcus Person, also known as Notch, the creator of Minecraft. So, did the alpha version 1.0.16.05 underscore 13 ever exist? Well, I'm not sure. If you are so curious, watch the video by Retro Gaming now. Now, I think that this shadowy figure only appears in the fog of the Alpha 1.0.0 underscore 66 version. Because of the lack of clues, I extracted the jar file accidentally, and I found all codes in the game. I later found a mysterious code, and the label was. Do not activate or access. I clicked the code, and it showed the entire programmation of the anti-shadowy figures. The name of Null was actually, Informatus Sneezes which is a name on the crash log for an alpha version. As soon as I closed the window, another one popped up. Another gameplay of Minecraft Alpha started, this time forcibly activating the full screen mode. As I continued to explore, I stumbled across a weird structure that someone was building, however I was on single player. As I was surviving, the fog came back, and texts started to float. That structure is a portal, this portal, was where they got me. It's the portal where I came from. Dimensions never existed. Cosmos was a lie. Scientists are liars. I am stuck, on a blocky world where logic doesn't make sense. You need me. You need me. You need me. Informatus sneezes started to spam. You need me. He later said in the chat. Go to the portal to give me back. I went into the portal and it crashed my PC. Everyone was partying while it was Saturday. When I woke, the principal said to me that I was sleeping. Now it was Sunday. Informatus Sneezes will never interact with me, and he was never seen again. My friend, Peter, said to me in Discord that the version always showed a black screen saying, 502, Bad Gateway.